Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Diane again here with Teeny uh, to talk about another artist and another fun lesson today. Today our artist is Vasily Kandinsky. Now some of you know that I have talked about him in class before. He is a very interesting guy. He is what is called an abstract, non-objective artist. What does that mean? That means that instead of painting cats and dogs and trees and houses and things that we know what they are, he used lines and colors and shapes to create really wonderful paintings. Here's a picture of Mr. Kandinsky. Oops, there he is. And he is doing one of his paintings in this picture. So let me show you the one that many of you have seen in my classroom. This is actually not one of his finished paintings. This is actually a study in color that he did where he wanted to see how did warm colors look next to cool colors, but you can tell that he is using lots of different shapes. Anyway, he's got squares, and he's got circles. And some of you might recall that this painting is called Concentric Circles in Squares. What an interesting name. Now, the kind of painting I wanna show you today is, that we're going to do is, there's one. So this is a painting Kandinsky did in 1923. Uh, Kandinsky used shapes and lines and different colors, primarily the primary colors of red, yellow, and blue, in order to create his abstract, non-objective paintings. An interesting fact about Kandinsky is that he was first a musician. He played the piano and the cello before he became a, a painter. And he thought that he could hear colors and shapes. So I just wanted to show you something about Teeny. Teeny, at least on the back, is a good representation or tells you the ideas of a Kandinsky painting because he is a shape but he is also lines and he obviously is a color. But the thing that makes him most like a Kandinsky painting is that he has movement. And when you put Kandinsky's lines and color and shape together, you get paintings that look as if they are moving, sort of like visualizing music. So let's go back and look at his painting again. So boys and girls, when you look at this painting, does it look like it's moving or that it's making music? It does a little bit. To me, this looks like symbols crashing together, going pow, pow, pow. Let me show you one other Kandinsky painting. Let's see if you can hear this one, the way Kandinsky did. Here's another painting he did in 1923. Again, he's using a lot of lines, a lot of straight lines, some checkerboard lines that turned into shapes, some circles, which he thought were the most peaceful shapes, and a few squiggle lines in this painting. Can you hear this one? Does this one also look like it's making music? One more thing to notice about this painting. All of his color that he's using, sometimes it fades out or it blends into the color of the paper. Sometimes it's solid like the center of this circle, but a lot of times you see that it starts a little bit darker and gets lighter. So I'm gonna show you that in my example as well. So in order to make a Kandinsky painting, you are going to need a black marker or crayon, and you're going to need to find some objects in your house 
that are different size shapes. I found these for circles. I found these two boxes for rectangles. And I actually couldn't find a ruler, but I found my son's Mario Party game, which I am going to use to draw my lines. So let me get started. Put your paper horizontal. And then maybe make two tracing carefully around your shapes. Make one or two of each shapes to start. I think I would start with the shapes. And then let's see, there's that one. And you can really put them wherever you like on the paper to draw your shapes. See, I have a different shape here. I think I'll overlap. Look at, I'm going right on top. I'll go on top of both of those. Something else Kandinsky did was he made half circles as well. I'm gonna do that. Here's my, I only do around half of the circle. And a lot of times he put these right next to one another. Now, I put out quite a few different shapes. Now I think I'll add some lines. And my lines are gonna cross right over my Oops, whoops, I made a little boo-boo there. That's okay, I just keep going. And maybe remember he has one of those checkerboards. So I'm gonna put some lines next to each other and then crisscross them on one side. Does it look like it has some movement? Does it look like it's making music? Maybe a little bit. Now, you can go ahead and just color this if you want to, but I want to show you something. If you don't have paint, but you do have watercolor markers at home, and I'm gonna use primary colors, red, yellow, and blue like Kandinsky. But to make, to do that effect with your markers, of the colors fading the way Kandinsky does, I'm gonna use my marker and trace around the outside of a shape. Then, using my paintbrush and water, you could use a paper towel if you don't have a paintbrush at home. I'm gonna gently color. I have to kind of go over it a little bit my marker line, and hopefully you guys can see this, that my color is going to fade together a little bit, where I've got a darker line here, fading into a lighter line. And I'll do one more. Maybe I should have drawn it a little thicker. I'll try this one a little thicker around the edge. Try that one more time. You can see how I'm making it. Maybe you can, hopefully you guys can see that, but you get the idea. And then I would go on and I would finish coloring in the rest of my picture. You can also go back at the end and color in black some of your shapes if you want. Now, here are a couple that I did earlier. Here's one that I did. And here's another Kandinsky that I made for you. So that's about it, boys and girls. Oh, and one final thing. This week, I loaded a second video on Flipgrid of a... Um, cartoon show about Kandinsky. It's by 
uh, uh, it's Maddie and Dada, and they talk about Kandinsky. And Maddie and Dada talk about a lot of artists. So if you like this video, you might like ones about Van Gogh and all the other artists that they talk about as well. Anyway, that's it for this week. Tini and I hope you have a great week. Tini and I hope that you have a great time making a Kandinsky abstract piece of art. Bye.